The journalist at the National Association of Black Journalists event today when interviewing Trump did her best Megyn Kelly impression from 2016. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account Only has Rosie several... O'Donnell. Except this journalist actually took it several steps further and asked probably the most selfish and ridiculous question to open off a question and answer period that I've ever seen. A lot of people did not think it was appropriate for you to be here today. You have pushed false claims about some of your rivals, from Nikki Haley to former President Barack Obama, saying that they were not born in the United States, which is not true. You have told four congresswomen of color who were American citizens to go back to where they came from. You have used words like animal and rabbit to describe black district attorneys. You've attacked black journalists, calling them a loser, saying the questions that they ask are, quote, stupid and racist. You've had dinner with a white supremacist at your Mar-a-Lago resort. So my question, sir, now that you are asking black supporters to vote for you, why should black voters trust you after you have used language like that? This is a question for the ego of the journalist, and that is it. You get Donald Trump, who's going to be accompanied by all of his crew that comes with him, the Secret Service, his team, everybody. You get all the other journalists in the room, everyone on that stage, plus all the people in the crowd, and then the media just in general, who's going to come and cover any event which has a presidential nominee speaking at it, Donald Trump in this case. And then you open by doing this. You basically spend 40 seconds insulting Donald Trump right to his face, how do you expect him to reply to this? This isn't just the Megyn Kelly example, which was a rude question to ask for sure, but this is just making the entire event immediately about you and your question. Just so later on, you can go to a dinner party and brag to your friends, hey, did I really corner him with that question? That was so edgy, right? Well, first of all, I don't think I've ever been asked a question so in, in such a horrible manner, a first question. <laughs> You don't even say, hello, how are you? Are you with ABC? Because I think they're a fake news network, a terrible network. And I think it's disgraceful that I came here in good spirit. Uh, I love the black population of this country. I've done so much for the black population of this country, uh, including uh, employment, including uh, opportunity Zones with Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina, which is one of the greatest programs ever for uh, black workers and black entrepreneurs. I've uh, done so much, and, you know, and I say this, uh, historically black colleges and universities were out of money, they were stone-cold broke, and I saved them, and I gave them long-term financing, and nobody else was doing it. I think it's a very rude introduction. I don't know exactly why you would do something like that. So of course, this reporter had to know that this was gonna make the entire interview hostile, right? And again, as I said, you get all these people in this room, you have a real opportunity to ask Donald T Trump even tough questions if you want, and you spend the first 40 seconds insulting him right to his face. How do you think he's gonna to reply to that? He's not just gonna accept the premise and his answer is just gonna be, uh, well, actually, yes, you're correct. I'm such a bad guy, but I hope black voters vote for me anyway. He's not going to say that. So when you ask this question of just these like 40 seconds of everything bad he's ever said or done in the past, he's obviously going to respond in some sort of negative way. So as I said, this reporter, I think this is the most selfish question I have ever seen, basically ruined the event to a large extent and made the entire event all about her because this is all people now are going to be talking about is, wow, did you see like the face-off between Donald Trump and that reporter at that event earlier. Wasn't that crazy? Wasn't that hostile? Wasn't there a lot of tension in the room? And you could have asked him hard policy questions like about immigration or about the economy or about his tax policy, but instead you made the entire event, literally, literally the entire event, because this is what people are going to be talking about, about your opening statement and your opening question, which was just a statement. And as Trump said there, I don't know why you would do something like that, He's correct. This event would have cost a ton of money to put on, was a great opportunity, and in my opinion, completely ruined just in the first minute when you basically pulled Donald Trump out. Oh, thanks for coming. By the way, here's all the reasons that you suck. How do you respond? Exactly why you would do something like that. And let me go a step further. I was invited here, and I was told my opponent, whether it was Biden or Kamala, uh, I was told my opponent was going to be here. 
It turned out my opponent isn't here. You invited me under false pretense. And then you said, you can't do it with Zoom. Well, uh, you know, where's Zoom? She's going to do it with Zoom, and she's not coming. And the final point I make here is that everybody, at least most people, say things like, when you talk to each other more, we need more thoughtful disagreement, more Democrats and Republicans coming together and figuring things out. Yet, when you have Donald Trump, who says here in this, the, the last clip I played, I'm actually here. Kamala Harris is not even here right now. So in that case, like, you can ask him difficult questions, but why would he want to show up to the next time this uh, group of journalists has an event if he's going to be treated like this and just going to be hostile the entire time? What's the productivity and what's the purpose of having an interview like that? And then so throughout the interview, it was pretty much hostile the entire time. Donald Trump had little moments where he'd chirp back at the reporter who asked him that question slash statement. And I'm going to end on a clip of this pretty funny of a little chirp from Donald Trump. And to the reporter's credit, she does laugh. So I'll end on this. You left uh, to go to Butler, Pennsylvania, and we didn't know what was next. Yeah. And I, I, two I'm days sorry. after I, that... I cannot understand your microphone. I know, is so it is muffled. really hard for I, me I to mean, understand it's just, you, too. I can understand you perfectly. Because she's closer. I can understand um, you. I'm happy to hear that, sir. But I can't really understand <laughs> Harris. I have a few more questions. Because of the distance.